this is going to be a little bit of a different video to usual and in this I'm kind of problem solving for a gig on Saturday where essentially the singer has sent a set list through and changed keys of some songs which are going to be really kind of interesting to play in a non-open key so for instance if you imagine playing living on a prayer in D without having a guitar tuned down that's going to be tricky you imagine playing don't stop believing in a key other than E so things that really don't want to, to move keys and also I don't want to take two extra guitars we don't have a roadie um, so I thought could we use the FM9 to problem solve for this yeah you're gonna notice that first of all that the main issue that I'm gonna have is that my preset basically uses up every block along the grid horizontally so I'm gonna have to problem solve for that um, and then the next thing is maybe we can do some things to optimize CPU and then we can add something to do the talk box for living on a prayer, which I've never done before, but this will probably get close enough for the gig. So hopefully it's vaguely interesting. These videos are brought to you by G66UK, um, which is your place to get an FM9, FM3 or Axpex3, no wait list, and also a UK service center. Let's jump into FM9 edit. <laughs> Okay, so I've got a gig on Saturday and the two guitar gig, but the other guitarist and singer has changed up quite a lot of keys, like down a step, down a half step. I think it's just not really going to be possible to, I don't have enough guitars or a roadie to take enough guitars to accommodate the different tunings. So I thought what could be kind of fun to do, uh, maybe, <laughs> is to instead, you know, dealing with that, uh, just create essentially so let's save a copy of this preset a few presets that are kind of like minus one in pitch minus two etc you get the idea right and see how we go and see if that's going to be a possibility now I think first of all I'm going to need to figure out a way to accommodate an additional block and I think probably the easiest way might be to do this right so if we go here so I could do like this then what do I send put here uh, can you do like a send and return Okay, I managed to, uh, with the help of some YouTube <laughs> tutorials, figure out that we're calling the send return block feedback, send feedback return, and then you need to just turn the return level up there. So now, essentially, you've added, because we've got plenty more CPU, you could use this as a way to essentially add more effects in a uh, already pretty busy preset, for instance. <laughs> But what I want to do is add in the pitch block. And this is minus one. So what we're going to do, we'll use the virtual capo. Shift down one, minus one.
And the optimal to way to set it up would probably be to set it up to be input in. Though it's not going to make much difference in this case as I'm already doing that. I'm going to turn off the high cut. Okay, so then that solves that. So I just need to check that uh, through the scenes that's going to be preserved. Uh, looks okay. So that'll be minus one sorted. Then we can save a copy. Say yes. And this one we call minus two. The obvious reasons that I'm now going to have this one down minus two. So obviously to solve this problem on the actual gig, I'd have needed to take two guitars plus one in standard and I think that actually gets me through the gig I think I'm gonna just play through and check whether this actually sounds reasonable anything kind of more than one or two I'm thinking I'll just sort of play it in the right key if you get what I mean uh, but this was kind of so that I could play journey don't stop believing and stuff like that because they're moving those down a key and living on a prayer so so why is there delay on that That's probably like the simplest way if you wanted to add stuff at the start of your effects chain to do that. Oh, hello kid. I'm going to have to take a pause. So again, it's pretty simple. Um, what else, if there was something like I needed to add some stuff here, let me think about what I might do for that scenario. Um, so you maybe drag your block down one or two, insert your send here, you drag it to anywhere, that's kind of the beauty of the grid, it's kind of super flexible. Um, so now if I put my course up here, what's just happened there? And then stick our return here feedback return into the chorus then down to here join that up as it was now once we've actually turned up the return on here and it got a load of free blocks again here so this was like inserting stuff mid chain you get what I mean right it's pretty cool pretty flexible probably not the most efficient way of doing it and you may be instead of doing it like that might want to think about totally rejigging uh, a preset but if in a case where it's as it was for me um, where it's like I need to, to add a block here realistically. Try that um, and if you wanted to you know if you know how many actual blocks you're going to use this is going to use slightly less DSP I believe uh, so we delete that block 
delete, delete, delete. You see that's going to end up using, I think, slightly less. So uh, same with this here, right? You can make a slightly more efficient preset in that way. Yeah? Um, so that's worth, I think, giving a try. Just one other thing that I thought that I could do here, uh, since we're playing Living on a Prayer, <laughs> what if uh, on our alternate rhythm, which is here, rhythm delay is what I would normally call it, uh, what if we get rid of the delay and instead we use our formant. So first of all, I'm gonna go into my scene manager and target formant one. I want it bypassed everywhere except for scene six. Right, and now let's get into here. Ooh, ah. I guess we could even automate that one to be on an LFO. That kind of works. <laughs> it's kind of silly sounding, but uh, let me jump back to my rhythm. So that <laughs> solves that particular issue potentially. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Just now checking that it's going to work in front of my amplifier, so that's the amp over there. It's a sort of matchless lightning clone, so you'll see what I see. This is kind of the foot switch mode that I run in, so you can see I've got three scenes here. Okay, and then delay, etc. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just switch between presets when I need to. There's a little bit of uh, a change in feel here. I'm going to be able to get through the gig like it, so for me the pitch block will definitely do that job. 